Welcome back to the Tassel Fairy channel. My name is Amina and I am the Tassel Fairy. So today, can you guess what we're gonna be doing? Well, if you haven't guessed, we are going to be... What? <laughs> so I posted this photo last week on Instagram and people went crazy. They were really, really curious how I got my kitchen to look like this. So many questions, so many questions about my rainbow kitchen. Um, and if you saw my home tour, you would have definitely checked it out there. Today, we are focusing on the washi tape cabinets. That's right. I'm going to show you how I changed my cabinets from the most boring brown basic cabinets to an explosion of color and fun and the best part is it's removable like you don't have to worry about your security deposit if you're renting or if you want to try something else which I love to do I personally like to try a bunch of stuff so you can just take it off when you're tired of it or you want to change the color whatever this process is super easy you are not going to believe how simple it is to transform your cabinets with just masking tape right Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a really good amount of masking tape. So MT is totally my favorite masking tape. They're the best, they're the OG. I've been using this tape for years. I actually did my previous loft with their masking tape. So many different things, tables, cabinets, like I went crazy. So yeah, I highly recommend MT masking tape because they are the best and they have the best colors and the best ranges of sizes of tape. They even have these really cool sheets that they're coming out with now that are like, it's almost like contact paper, but it's better because it's like a little more durable. Um, so as you see, my dishwasher is cloud print. That's what that is. It's basically like a big sheet of masking tape that I lined up perfectly. And they come in sheets the size of 20 by 20, and you can put them on your floor. You can like clean them, it's really awesome. However, if you don't find what you're looking for through MT, I'm gonna leave other links below of pretty decent sources of reliable washi tape. I'm telling you, don't get the random cheap stuff from like the dollar store or something. Trust me. <laughs> Not if you're doing something cool like your cabinets. You know, if you're doing paper, who cares? So, it's really important when you're doing a project like this, especially if you're gonna be doing your entire kitchen, that you get super organized. And that's what I did. I decided that I'm gonna draw a map of my kitchen, not like a super good one, but it was good enough to get the job done. As you can see, um, I started here, I did a little map, I counted all of the cabinets, and then I put pieces of tape to kind of plan out where each color was going to go because I knew I wanted mine to be multicolor. Okay, so here are a few tips. You definitely want to remove the face of the cabinets from the base of the cabinet if you can. If you can't, then get a ladder or like may the force be with you. It's just way more difficult when you're doing the cabinets, especially the higher up cabinets, when they're still attached. So you can take the face part off, should be pretty simple with like a screwdriver, and lay it on a flat surface or a table, and that way, you know, you can really get in there and work on it. When you're prepping your cabinet, one important thing to remember, after you've pulled your cabinet off of the base, or if you're gonna do it like as it's hanging, definitely wash your cabinets. Make sure they're washed very clean and dry. There's no oil or grease or dust because all of those things will make it really difficult for the washi tape to adhere perfectly. You also want to make sure that you're smoothing each piece of tape out to avoid bubbles because bubbles are the worst. The worst. For this project, I started out with a bunch of different sizes of tape, but it turned out that I really like the texture and feel and the look of the tiny pieces of tape. It was like, I think they were about a half inch. So that's really small. <laughs> it's not very big. And empty masking tape, they have the Casa tape. It comes in like 
huge tubes, like as big as a paper towel or as like long as like a tube of toilet paper or something, right? Which is pretty long for a roll of tape. You know what I mean? And it covers a lot of surface area. So I opted out of those. Now you don't have to stick to just one color, but here's the thing. If you're dealing with darker cabinets, like I was, in a lot of cases, the best option is to do two different layers of washi tape. Now if you're doing the really thin strips of tape like I am, that gets complicated if you're gonna do multiple colors on one cabinet. So to keep things simple, if this is your first project like this, I would suggest just doing one color. Washi tape is probably my favorite thing. Like I, of all the things I like to do art with, craft with, all of my favorite mediums, washi tape is really high up there. Like tape and masking tape and just tape in general, I love it. It's such a great way to decorate. And stickers, I love stickers. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, Tell me about it. Are you gonna do something with washi tape? Are you gonna do your cabinets? Are you gonna do a table? Thanks so much, unicorns. Don't forget to subscribe. We are really getting close to 100,000 subscribers, and I feel a giveaway coming on. So be sure to tell all of your friends to subscribe to the Tassel Fairy channel. Get everybody that you know involved because there is going to be an insane giveaway when I reach 100,000 unicorns. That's right. So let's make it happen, guys. Come on, we can do it. We're so close. Well, kind of, but we can do it. <laughs>